Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a cool video for you about Sledgehammer's next Call of Duty game, which I believe to be Modern Warfare 4, and no, it's not that old, boring Destination PlayStation tweets. I actually got to see the game. Yes, I got to see the game kind of in action. It was very unusual. I saw this personally with my eyes. Uh, information was leaked to me, and I'm going to share this information with you in the video. Somebody inside the Call of Duty machine shared with me a variety of media files claiming to be from the next game. This is not the same source as last year that leaked me Call of Duty Ghost. They just reached out to me out of the blue, somebody I've never talked to in my life. I just opened up my inbox and there's a little thing that says, next Call of Duty info, and I'm like, uh, uh, okay, sure, whatever, because you know, 99 out of 100 of those are total nonsense, but I click on this one and it points me towards some files and I'm kind of gobsmacked by what I'm looking at. I'm looking at assets and some interesting stuff from the next Call of Duty game. Just put it out there. I'm not going to share these media files with you for two reasons. Number one reason, I will get copyright strikes out the wazoo. And number two reason, which is actually more important than number one, is that the person reached out to me. They asked me not to share this so that I don't get them fired and I promised that I would not not. I said that I would look and they said they actually encouraged me to make a video about it but I said that I would not actually share the media files and I will remind you that this is a person that I don't know and I do not have a particular reason to trust but the files that I were sent do look pretty legitimate if and I investigated them they are at least unique they're not out there elsewhere on the internet so if this isn't the next Call of Duty game then it's some other shooter in development or one hell of a mod which I would very much so like to play so now let's Let's talk about what I saw, and I'm going to describe what I saw in a somewhat careful manner for two reasons. Number one, my preview is limited, and number two, I don't want to give away who actually leaked me this information, because again, they like being employed. The number one thing I can say is that immediately I realized this was not going to be a past Call of Duty game. This is not a Vietnam era, a Korean War era, uh, a Cold War era. This is not a World War II era Call of Duty game. I honestly don't even think it's a modern era Call of Duty game. It seems somewhat futuristic. Not, maybe not quite in the same style as Black Ops, but maybe as if the Modern Warfare series had progressed into the 2020s or early 2030s or something like that. A fairly logical progression of our normal technology, but it was definitely set somewhere in into the future. Uh, another thing about it, I got to see one of the weapons in action and uh, it was definitely a futuristic gun. Well, I got to see it, you know, doing things and not shooting unfortunately. I'm pretty sure that it was an assault rifle, though it could have also been a shotgun or maybe an LMG. It was a very large, like, stocky kind of gun. And at first it almost made me think that this was some trolling thing because it looked kind of like a Titanfall weapon. It was very blocky, very modular, very kind of like machine designed, uh, dark features for the most part. And it had some blue text on it. The only one which I was able to read because what I was looking at was moderately blurry and had the text Atlas, A-T-L-A-S, or perhaps Atlas, the S or the the Z was somewhat obscured and it was a little bit difficult to read and it had a symbol over it similar to having an A over a W. I'm going to put the paint image up here. This is the best thing I can do to reproduce it. I don't know what this symbol means. I've never seen it before. I don't know if it means anything to you or if it's game relevant, but that was stamped on the gun. Looking around the game, there did seem to be some variety of dynamic lighting and reflections. Uh, it, it, like again, it was a limited preview, so it was hard to tell for sure, but the light seemed to be properly reflat refracting off of metal things and shiny things and wet things and bouncing around around and not just the singular sort of like pool on the ground reflection but I did see some things where it seemed like reflections were bouncing around multiple kind of objects like it had a sort of physics engine which was really cool and the reflections were interesting looking the character I got to see very little of it was all first person again with a future he had a sort of odd wrist brace now you're probably thinking like some Robocop crazy cyborg arm nah he just had sort of a metal clamp on his arm that attached to something that looked maybe like it was a PDA or something kind of important they had very similar things in Black Ops 2 so I'm assuming it was something like that like the little pads that soldiers have however it had a very futuristic design to it though that was a minor detail don't focus on it. We're not talking about RoboCop here. Moving on, let's talk about the map that I got to see. It was a single preview, a single map from either multiplayer or single player. I couldn't entirely tell because it was completely depopulated. It was either a single player map that was devoid of players, being that it was in an alpha stage and under construction, or a multiplayer map that just had nobody playing on it. I don't exactly know, but the map seemed to be some sort of power plant, I would like to say. There were some large turbines in one point, three of them in a big row. 
they looked kind of like airplane turbines except elongated and they had a kind of glass case on them and it just screamed like kind of like something like Tom Cruise would have in the movie Oblivion. It seemed a lot like that. The map was definitely multi-story. There were little signs pointing toward elevators that I couldn't entirely tell if they were functional or not. Lots of little displays and stuff going on and artwork. There was a maintenance room. Uh, there was a sign pointing it said helipad and it pointed to a set of stairs that looked like the character could have gone up there but that didn't happen. I initially thought that the map was indoors like it was like in a space station or like an enclosed area but then there was some stuff outside the map to show that it was an extremely large something and very very vertical went straight up kind of like a tower and at one point I noticed what appeared to be very very much so above a city like I, I looked out and we were actually like maybe 80 to 100 stories above a city and what I thought was maybe like uh, uh, you know you're looking really quickly you don't notice things at first I thought it was maybe like a light reflecting the raindrops off the ground nope those was actually like cities lights uh, like houses blinking on and off and cars and stuff moving around so it was definitely over some kind of major metropolitan area I'm not entirely sure of what this map was but I would like very much so to say that it was a power plant of some kind and some kind of uh, important power plant, we'd like to say, because it has a lot of security. Uh, the textures seemed pretty spot on. Call of Duty Ghost took some flack about textures, mostly from the PC players. Again, this is a limited preview and it was alpha, but from what I saw, most of them looked good. Uh, there were some that looked better than others. Some were placeholders. Uh, some were very obviously placeholders, some unfinished stuff here and there. But it looked decent to me. Again, limited preview and all, I can't say for sure. And as for that destination PlayStation thing, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, there was a guy tweeting something about uh, a Golden Gate Bridge scene and uh, the only thing I know about that is maybe. I didn't think much of it. I didn't see any of it in any of the uh, any of the files that I was given. And then at one point I noticed that there was a picture in the background. I believe it was like on a TV screen. And it had a... I tried to zoom in to the maximum to see what I could see. And it seemed like maybe it was like a Golden Gate Bridge from a certain perspective. And it had the very blurry words countdown over the top. It just said countdown and I think it was like a picture of the bridge. But again, that was a small detail in the corner of the map that it had to zoom in to see and I'm not entirely confident about that one. Uh, now I'm going to talk about why I think it's Modern Warfare 4, and this sounds a little crazy, but the guy that went to the Destination PlayStation event, I linked the imager down there in the description that's been going around. You've probably seen it on Charlie Intel and MP First and something like that. Uh, he had a variety of tweets. I'd highly recommend that you read them. The three main take-home facts from that is he claimed that it was the next entry into the Modern Warfare series. Very specifically, not Call of Duty. It said, quote, also it's the next entry in the Modern Modern Warfare series apparently. Next up, he said it looked realistic and had great physics, which more or less lines up with what I saw. I, again, I could be being fooled here, but I don't know entirely. And it was using the code name Blacksmith. You've seen quite a few YouTube videos recently and, you know, stuff on Twitter and other websites about Blacksmith. Is this Call of Duty Blacksmith? Call of Duty Blacksmith. Uh, Blacksmith, I'm very, very confident, is just a code name for this. If you think about it, instead of Blacksmith, like, uh, like a smith that is black, you think like Blacksmith, like a guy that, you know, has a sickle and hammer and he makes your armor in Skyrim or something. Or maybe Sledgehammer Games. Think about it. Sledgehammer, Blacksmith, code name, her to her to her, little inside joke. I'm, I'm very, very confident that it's the code name for the Sledgehammer Call of Duty. And as to it being MW4, it occurred to me recently that there were a lot of MW2 slash MW3 personalization packs that came out for Black Ops 2 and for Ghost, where you could play as Makarov, or you could play as Price, and uh, they actually had some Ghost ones before you could play as Ghost Riley, and not one of them, well, along with the Ghost Squad in uh, Call of Duty Ghost. So there's a lot of kind of throwbacks to this older MW2, MW3 kind of series going on, and for no discernible reason other than that they're maybe popular or fan favorites, and it reminded me of when last year, if you remember, before Call of Duty Ghosts came out, there was a Ghost camo that was avail available for download in Black Ops 2 that was like, it was actually tied into like the pre-order campaign and stuff, and it would kind of make sense if they had a, a long-term plan, and if, the, and if the game is in the state that it's in, which is obviously playable, and there's a lot of stuff going on, that you could have a sort of long-term marketing plan and prime people for that MW4 action for that, it might not even be called MW4, but I'm pretty confident it's going to be going on in the Modern Warfare universe with these, all these, you know, nostalgic characters. And again, from what I looked at, it doesn't really seem too far-fetched. Like I said, if you took maybe the ending of MW3 and pushed like another 10, 15, 20, 20 at tops years into the future, that would match the architecture, match the weaponry, match how we would predict the future to be inside that 
universe, and I'm, I'm highly feeling MW4. That's what I think, but at the end of the video, if you've watched all of the way to the end, I would like to remind you again that I was uh, just reading through my messages like normal, a person that I have never spoken to in my life, and whom I have no reason to trust, contacted me out of the blue claiming they wanted to show me the next Call of Duty game, which of course I was skeptical, her to her, whatever, I don't believe you, and bam, all of these media files which I can't place, which look very much like Call of Duty, that have no textual information, the guy just threw all these files at me and was like, you sort it out. It's either Call of Duty whatever, which I think will be MW4, or some sort of other game that somebody's developed and has never shown the world before, and it has a lot of development into it. So I'm betting on MW4. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the information. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.